YouTube, what's good y'all? Welcome to another Wix Studio tutorial. This week we're talking about text masks, okay? So text mask, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> it's a feature inside of Wix Studio that can make your pages that much more creative and dynamic. So I gave you an overview of what that looks like in the last video, but this time we're gonna go a bit more in detail. And I'm gonna do this on the fly so I can show you exactly how easy it is. I have a couple ideas in mind. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we've got a lot of text maskage to get into. So here we are inside of the Wix Studio Editor. If you saw my last video, it was on my five favorite features of Wix Studio. So this is the site that we created. So feel free to check that video out if you haven't already. But if you scroll down, you'll see I use the text mask here, right? So I'm gonna show you how to add it. So what I'm gonna do is add a new section here at the bottom, okay? And then I can either click add elements or I'll come over here over to the add elements panel, click the plus button, and then go down to text and then text mask. So you'll see these different options that Wix Studio provided for us already. So this is a video, this is a gradient, this is another video. So it gives you a bunch of different kind of templates to start from. So what I'll do is drag this first one over so then you can resize it, put it here. Okay, so in order to change the text, you'll have to click this change text button right here. So let's go ahead and change this to, I have an idea for one that I wanna do. I'm gonna name this Fern, okay. So let's see if we can pick a thicker font. So you wanna come over to the inspector Okay, and then scroll down to design, then you have media. So this is where the media will be changed. So you can either have a video or an image, or you can have a gradient. So before we even get into this, let me change this. So this text mask is an actual video. So if I hit preview, you may see the colors change just a bit. But the issue that I'm having is that the gradient in the video isn't the same color as the gradient that I have on my website. So let's go ahead and change this from a video to a gradient. So I'll click this and as you can see, it says media. And if I hit change media, it will, it will bring up the videos, but I'll click gradient instead. Then click change gradient. And I'll scroll down to the gradient that we have on the website that I saved in the last video. Boom, that looks pretty good. I'm afraid that the D is getting lost a bit because it's the color of the Navy that we have as the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this blue shade. Boom. So that looks good. That looks good to me. So that's how you add a gradient background to your text mask. So if you click text here, you can change up the font, the styles, alignment, and all your usual font adjustments. But I'll scroll back down and let's rock with this one for a second. Okay. So let's find a different font. So I'll go over to text. The good thing about this is one, you can use up to 450 characters. Two, this text is SEO friendly, all right? So you can select from one of Wix's fonts or you can upload your own fonts. So let's see what thicker options we have available. Let's go with Poppins Black, that's cool. So I'll go ahead and boom, make it this large, I'm digging it. So if we preview this right now, this is what it would look like. This is nice, but I wanna have more of like a leaf type of background. So I'll click this media button, change media, and search for leaf, see what we have. Ooh, this actually looks good. This is an actual fern leaf as well. Ooh, I'm liking that already, y'all. So let's preview it. Digging it. I'm digging it. So let's go ahead and up level this section real quick, y'all, because the text mask is just the tip of the iceberg. It's the clear focal point where we can still add some sauce to this section, all right? So I'll go back to edit site, and I'm actually gonna head to Adobe Stock to find a video. I'll type in leaf alpha, let's see what we have. Ooh, this is perfect. This is perfect, but I want a white background. So this is actually perfect. So let's download this and add it into Wake Studio. All right, here we are back in Wix Studio. So I'm gonna click this section, then head over to the inspector. Under design, I'm gonna click media. So I'll upload that video that I just downloaded. 
All right, here we have the asset and I'll click change background. So if I hit preview, boom, we got action y'all. <laughs> we got action, we got action. All right, so there's one extra thing that I wanna do to add even more sauce to this section and then we'll be done. Look, but I have to tell you, and I'm not following my own advice. I highly suggest when you're using text masks, you keep it simple. Don't do too much, but I'm doing a tutorial here. So I just want to show you what's possible with Wix Studio and with text masks. Okay. So I'm doing, I'm doing the most. I understand that. So I'm back over in Adobe stock and let's search for a leaf. Cause I have an idea that I want to show you guys. Oh, this is actually perfect right here. You know what? I have an even better idea guys. Watch this. So I took a look at this. I'm like, this is really nice. So I'm actually going to download this and I'll show you how to add a text mask with just an image. You do it the same way, but check this out. So y'all know the stock images we download usually are crazy high quality and file sizes are huge. So I just want to resize it real quick. A website I like using for that is called squoosh.app. So I'll upload my image. Let's see 6.9 megabytes. Golly. <laughs> I want to resize it and reduce the quality. So let's make it about 2300. So on the left is the original on the right is the resized. Doesn't look too much different. And as you can see, we reduced it by 95%. Brought it down to 320 kilobytes. And this is going to be in a text mask. So it's not like I even need it to be full width. So I could even go lower than this, but this is fine. I'll download this. So this is squoosh.app. All right, I brought the image into Photoshop and I just want to mask out one of these leaves, okay? So I'm going to do this one, then hit select and mask. Now just rotate it. Boom. And then we'll crop this bad boy and then we'll take it into Wix Studio. So back in Wix Studio, let's click edit. I'm going to click Fern. I'm going to change this from a video to that image we just downloaded. Boom. Change background. Boom. That looks cool. I like that. So now let's add some extra sauce to it. I'm going to make this section a little taller. So now I'm going to go over to the Add Elements panel, go down to Media, click Upload. Upload from computer. Then here we have the leaf. Add the page. Boom, resize this. Let's actually put it at the top of the F. That looks good, that looks good. But we ain't done. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit edit site. But if I click this, right? Kind of getting into one of the future videos, but let's go over to animations and effects over in the inspector. We don't need an entrance. Let's come down to loop. Click add. Let's see what type of animation we can add. Breathe. Hmm. Pulse. Spin. Uh, poke. Flash. Remember flip. Check swing. I like it. I like it. It swings a bit too much though. So let's adjust this animation. Intensity. Let's go to like 20. I think 20 is the lowest we can go here. If we increase the duration, it'll last a bit longer, but I'm going to make this quite a bit smaller. Just put it like kind of overlapping. So now let's preview it. That's actually pretty cool. So you can start to see how using a text mask one, it already does an amazing job at adding some pop to the page. But when you combine it with other things like images, other background videos, or even transparent videos, it'll really add some life and depth to the site. So I know you probably pumped up to head on over to Wix Studio and try this out for yourself. But if you're still here, <laughs> let me show you how to do one more that we actually learned during the Wix Studio live training last year that I thought was pretty cool. So I'll come back up to edit site. I'm gonna add one more section down here. I'll go ahead and duplicate this real quick. Duplicate, bring this down here, change the text. Change it to water. Let's pick a different font. Boom. So now let's change this text mask. 
go up to media. Let's type in water. Let's actually go to videos. So this is the one we used. Well, let's pick a different one. Hey, this looks cool. Let's pick this. Change background. Let's preview it as is. So I'm going to click the section background. What we'll the same water video? So as you can see, as it is right now, you can't really read it. It's almost like camouflage. So I'll come back to edit site or on the color. Let's add like a shade of blue here and then reduce the opacity of the video. Boom. That looks a lot better, right? So these are a few different ways you can use text masks, but there are countless other examples. And of course you can customize this to fit your exact design project as well. All right, y'all, as you can see, text mask is a super dope tool that allows you to grab your visitor's attention just by using short pieces of text. It's really easy to implement inside of Wix Studio, and it just adds an extra level of sauce to your site. So this is just one of many features inside of Wix Studio that I'll be covering. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed. And if you like this video, please give it a like and drop a comment. I'd appreciate that. And to try out text mask for yourself, head on over to Wix Studio using the link in the description. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.